I, I had my first, after Cream, I had my first solo band. Uh, band with Mitch Mitchell, who was Hendrix's drummer, and Larry Coriel. So it was a kind of a fusion band, too. And we were playing at the Fillmore East, the very first show of a, a Coast to Coast tour. And uh, it was a very good night. People like Hendrix was there, and Carla Blay, and it was a great night. And uh, John McLaughlin, the guitar player who was playing with Tony, brought Tony down to, to say hi to me. And Tony kind of half jokingly said, hi, do you want to join my band? And I said, yeah. <laughs> so if he was joking, he couldn't take it back at that point. <laughs> so I, I finished my tour and came back uh, and, and joined his band. But the interesting thing for me is that Cream was kind of like a pioneering blues rock band. Right. And uh, Lifetime and Spectrum Road are kind of pioneering jazz rock right. fusion bands. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I think that that's it's kind of a nice way for me at my great age to be able to kind of get back to be doing something like that's got really going back to my the roots of my roots you know right and playing with those great guys those uh, amazing players Medeski yeah. it's quite astounding what he does with uh, you yep. don't hear that many Mellotron solos these days right but the way he does it when he gets inside the Mellotron and starts scratching the tapes and all this this yeah. is astounding it's, it's really nice to hear this band coming together so how did things go at Bonnaroo was that the first gig that's the first gig of this uh, uh, of this tour, and that's our first kind of large-ish gig. You know, we didn't weren't playing on the main stage. We were playing in a a tent that was about a hundred miles away from the main stage. But but nevertheless, we got a really great crowd, and they loved it. You know, they they just it was a great gig, and the the people loved the bands. You know, you think about all the great bands, and then somebody goes off to do so, uh, solo, become a solo artist. Not that many do greater than what their bands did, do they? Not that many. There are, there are exceptions. Yeah. But usually it's that gestalt thing that really is really happening, isn't it? Yeah. It's that uh, something that takes over while, while people are, are playing, the chemistry's there, and it leads to some other kind of thing that you don't know what that is, but you see the audience actually lifting off. Right, right. Almost physically, you know. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so come back, come back. Yeah, it's so, the magic. Uh, yeah, there's the magic, yeah. Indeed.